Okay, I'm going to show you what sphericity means when it comes to terms of a repeated measures ANOVA. First of all, that's the only time you're going to have to deal with sphericity is with the repeated measures ANOVA or with the within group ANOVA. So we're going to take a set of data and check it for sphericity by using a graph, okay? So here's a set of data. Six different times, okay? So they did a pre- measurement and a follow-up measurement, a post-measurement, and then they, they did four weeks of training, and these numbers in here represent the number of claims for, let's say, sexual harassment for a giant company with millions of employees, okay? So they're going to try to see if the training for sexual harassment was effective at, at lowering the number of filings with the HR department, okay? So first thing we're going to do is we're going to graph them. One... One column at a time. So our graph is going to have our DV as the y-axis. That's always the case, right? Your DV is always the up and down, the y-axis. And with repeated measures, normally your x-axis is just time, right? It's a longitudinal study. So this is before the first training, first training, second training, third training, fourth training, and then a post follow-up later. So again, your x-axis is always usually time. And your, and your y-axis is always the DV. So let's go ahead and graph this first one. We got an 80, 57, blah, blah, blah. So when we graph them, they kind of look like that. We're going to go to the second measurement, which is week one. This is after the first week of training. We're going to go ahead and graph those numbers, 78, 57, blah, blah, blah. They're going to look like that. And we're going to go ahead and graph each one of these columns okay that's that's each week of training and the follow-up so we're going to go ahead and graph all of those and it kind of looked like that now the idea is sphericity if you think of a school of fish is if the values are relatively the same over the change in time that means whatever whatever you're doing between these times is calling causing the entire group to either go down or go up. So that's what sphericity is, and it, it looks like we definitely have it here. Okay, It's not perfect, but yeah, as a group, they seem to be going down. So I'm assuming that, that the assumption of sphericity has not been violated with this set of data. So I hope that helps. MGZ, out.